Hello folks, we are still in Geneva on our little trip that we've been on for the last couple of videos, but it's Sunday morning and I've been reliably informed Sunday's in Geneva, it's basically a ghost town, there's nothing going on here. So, we're at the, the coach station. We're going on a day trip to Annecy in France, which apparently is the Ve Venice of the Alps, I think they call it. Basically, it's supposed to be really pretty. Presumably, you're about to see a very scenic B-roll sequence and then we'll magically be there. So, why the bus? I hear you cry. Two reasons. Reason number one, I actually remembered to bring travel sickness pills with me on this trip. So, in my current enhanced state, this is no longer the forbidden transport. Uh, but reason number two, arguably more important, it's much quicker than every other method. It actually cost a little bit more than the train would have done, but the train took an hour and a half and we had to get over the other side of the city on the trams to get there. It would have been like a two hour trip, whereas the bus is only a 50 minute drive. So it's quicker, it's a little bit more expensive, but we have got the seats right at the front. We paid an extra three euros each. So we have the panoramic view out of the front of the bus which i'm sure you'll agree is well worth it because i can keep an eye on the driver and see what buttons he's pushing because there's a lot of buttons down there that interest me very much Well, here we go then. Only 50 minutes later, this is Annecy, which, I mean, this looks, this bit looks like a bus station, but I imagine just over here, we've probably got the pretty bit. All right, that being said, those buildings with the mountains in the background, all very scenic. Well, there we go. I was promised Venice of the Alps. There we have a canal and there we have Alps. Venice of the Alps. It is raining, which is not ideal. Just mooching around the city centre as you do. Casually stumble across an enormous mountain that you can't see the top of because it just disappears up into the clouds. This place is weird and awesome. Weird and awesome. This seems to be a very touristy spot. We've got a little bit of a bridge situation that looks like it looks out over the lake. And then there's a big old mountain the other side of it. And an Anna on the bridge as well. How are you doing a thumbnail smile? I don't know what it means. Smile, <laughs> a big proper smile. <laughs> so we've got one of the canals behind us, which is down there. I've not seen loads. I don't know when they say it's the Venice of the Alps. I've seen that one canal. I assume there's more canals. I just don't know where the canals are. They're all used. What these? And we've come in April. These boats over here is what she's talking about. We've come in April because that's when we're here. But there's lots of people around. But that's the uh, that's the mountain over there. It's just called what heaven. It's called part of the Alps. Do all mountains have names? I don't know that they do. Because we've got one there, and then there's another one behind it. I don't think they all have names. So we're trying to work out on here. There you go. Mont Verrier, or it could be Mont Baron because there's two right next to each other, which I guess is that one and that one. And then there's one behind it as well, which doesn't seem to have a name. But that one, no, we're not walking up it. I thought there was a cable car, but maybe there's not. That might have been at the other place. Plan A for this day trip is where we were going to go to Chamonix, but we had to cancel the Chamonix trip because of Anna's torn meniscus, because it's lots of walking up and down hills and generally wandering around. We've got here and it's been lots of cobblestones, which haven't been much better, have they? So our knee is struggling a little bit. So we're, uh, we've been here over an hour. We've made it to this bit. We're gonna have a wander around behind us in the gardens of Europe. Again, I don't think it's I, right yeah, yeah. They're, uh, they're a bit sludgy, so we're not going in. I'm not taking my, not taking my Jordans into sludge, so we're going to walk around the outside. I think we're probably then going to find somewhere to have some lunch, which there is supposed to be lots of nice places to have something to eat around here, and then probably head back to the bus. I don't know that Annecy in April, for someone who can't really walk around, is necessarily the best place for us to be. It is very pretty, though. I'll give it that. This view here is very cool. 
Up so, uh, should we get a pedalo? Are you up for pedaling? I have no knees. You only need one knee. Hey, there's two pedals. I mean, yeah, if you tape your foot to one of them, it'll be fine. I haven't been on a pedalo since I was a kid. I mean, I don't think they're running today. The speedboat's over there. Should we get one of those instead? I don't think they're doing any of the boat tours today. Although there are people over there sailing, I want to say. Or maybe they're... That's where they park them. No, they're moving. I think they're actually, I think they're actually being sailed. Let's have a wander through the garden. So this bit was known as Le Jardin de Rouen. Best French accent there from me. I am part French, so officially not racist. Um, I assume in my very rudimentary French that I possess, that translates to Garden of Europe or European Garden. I mean, it's very, very green. View's definitely better in this direction. Ducks! It's my man Claude over there, just hanging out. Holding someone's head, maybe? I've also got some of these uh, little droopy tree situations, which Anna quite likes. Well, apparently they're the wrong droopy trees. I don't know where she's gone. I just said, look, they've got your droopy trees that you want. And she was like, these are the wrong ones. Why are these not the same droopy trees as the ones in Japan that you want? Because they're not cherry blossom. They're not cherry blossom? No. Well, what sort of blossom are they? I don't know. They well, are. I, I don't know, I just know they're not cherry blossom and pink together. Droopy tree is a droopy tree as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we've got one of these over here as well. There you go, I'm not sure what this... Okay, so it tells us the altitudes of where we are. So we're, we're, we're quite low, I'm getting from that. Although, considering I was, I grew up below sea level, this is still definitely uh, nosebleed territory for me. And then various other bits and bobs here. Not sure what that one means. And the instruction manual is all in French, but if anyone can let me know in the comments what this means. Does that mean Paris and London and Lisbon are that way, maybe? No idea. I'm not quite sure what, what this thing is here. I'm very nervous of walking on here and ruining my shoes. But uh, it's like burnt wood. And then, is it upside down trees? Are they the roots that have been mushed together to We'll have a walk under it. It's lit up, so clearly it's something that isn't just here by accident. It's something you're supposed to be walking under and making a fuss of. And it looks pretty much the same from this side as well. The view over here is quite cool. You can see one of the party boats is uh, in full swing. You can hear them every now and again, blasting out the instructions from the tour. And then the lake carries on way up there. Being from the UK, I don't think we realize well, I certainly don't realise how big a lake can be. I think the biggest I've ever seen is the man-made Rutland water. I imagine, I mean, I've never been to the Lake District. I imagine there's some big ones up there, isn't there? But having seen Lake Geneva a few days ago, and now Lake Annecy, which is also enormous. They do lakes properly in this part of the world, clearly. There we have a wild Anna doing her photography. Here comes the party boat. I mean, there's less of a party on it than I thought there was. The noise they were making, you think it was a party boat. I think it is just a boat tour. And I'm now looking at Anna and then looking back at the boat. I'm wondering, how do we get on that boat? The magic of Anna's painkilling medication. She, uh, half an hour ago, she was done. Gosh, she nearly fell over there. She was just sat down not able to move and now she's wandered off exploring this thing that looks like a porcupine that I've refused to come on because I didn't want to mess up my shoes and she very nearly went over them but we've got the porcupine thing here and then over here we've got another wooden structure. Are you all right? Have you broken yourself? Oh dear. That's why we don't walk on the mud. 
If you were going to hurt yourself anyway, could you not have gone all the way over? Because I was filming. We could have got 250 pounds if you'd been framed. Is that still going? She doesn't look amused. I should probably check she's okay. This is cool. I think this is a, a bee hotel up there. But then it's also been carved out of the tree further down as well. We've got one of these in Sainsbury's car park near us. It's a little, not quite as grand as this one. I particularly like the little grooves that have been carved out of it. But yeah, I think this is a, uh, they call it a bee hotel. But it's really awesome. Also, I don't know if the microphone is picking it up or not, but can you hear those birds? I thought we were walking through an aviary or something. I don't know, are they putting it out on speakers? Yeah, I'm aware of it. I can see it on the camera. <laughs> I haven't really seen any birds. I think there's a couple on the top of that little cabin thing, but they're so noisy. Noisy critters. It's awesome. Anna is very interested in the Bee Hotel. So again, company photographer doing her thing. Keep an eye on our Instagrams. Both mine and hers. Links down in the description below. Photos will be appearing or may have already appeared. All right, I am currently working on the assumption that this little row of shops slash buildings here that goes all the way around where this park and the lake have been. This is probably going to be a good spot to get some lunch. Now, I fully acknowledge they're probably going to be the most expensive places to get lunch. However, we've been used to Geneva prices the last few days. Nothing can, nothing can hurt us now. Nothing's going to be as expensive as Geneva. And plus, when we were in Barcelona, we noticed that the stuff near La Sagrada Familia, which you would assume would be the expensive tourist traps, not only was being ignored because people thought it was expensive tourist traps, it was also really reasonably priced. So maybe the same thing happens with some of these. It is nearly one o'clock. I am peckish. We got up early today to get the bus over here. So I'm ready for lunch. French lunch. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, now I'm finally getting it when they say the Venice of the Alps, because this looks very Venetian. Yet there we have Alps behind us. Very scenic. Right, I'm thinking any of these restaurants along here are going to be the answer to all of my hunger-related troubles. What have we got on here? Um, pizza and things. Local specialties. Why does anyone have pasta? I don't like Oh, they've got my Caesar salad, so I can have a Caesar salad. Do you have a burger fish? God, this is, I tell you what, after being in Geneva, this is so cheap. <laughs> it's still not cheap, but compared to Geneva, I might have three, three mains. We have picked a restaurant, very snazzy it is too, one of those little ones next to the canal, where we're gonna have onion soup, believe it or not. They just call it onion soup here, not French onion soup. Who knew? And I've got an enormous bottle of sparkling water that Anna's trying to give me. And uh, then I'm having my nice safe food of Caesar salad, which is what I've just been having everywhere. I've had so many salads lately. Uh, this is very much one of those meals I always wanted to try. Is it good? It looks very stringy. I'm not really supposed to eat cheese. But I had reflect yesterday, just a little bit of it, so I can try a little bit of this. Oh, it's so oozy and never had this before. Oh, it's sweeter than I thought it was going to be. Oh, it's so nice. Onion soup. Big thumbs up from me, that was really good. Well, I'm a bit gassy now, not used to having that much cheese. Definitely think we're pushing the boundary of a salad being healthy here, but... But it looks magnificent. I'm very much in favour of this European <laughs> thing of putting eggs in a Caesar salad. They were doing it in what I had at the hotel as well. Anna, because she's afraid of anything that's not British, as fish and chips, don't you? I'm not afraid, I just don't know what things are. Yeah. Well, that was delicious and quite reasonably priced after being trained by Geneva for the last few days. It was big portions. I couldn't eat all of my no, salad, which is possibly the most pathetic sentence I've ever said. Did you smell the cheese as we came through? That is what the whole of the, because I went to have, uh, I did have some fondue in Geneva yesterday, um, which if you want to see that, it was in the match day vlog that's over on the main channel, but the whole restaurant smelled like that. 
I don't think Anna would be able to cope with it. It's a very strong <laughs> cheese smell. But yeah, it is absolutely pouring down with rain still. So I think the time has come for me to put my coat on before we venture back out into that because it looks wet. We have to challenge Kevin to make onion soup. Yeah, we were a fan. We were fans of the onion soup. That's probably why we couldn't eat our mains. We don't normally have starters, <laughs> but the onion soup was really good. Yeah, I couldn't eat half. And of uh, that, the onion soup on its own probably would have been enough for lunch. But uh, yeah, it was good. Really tasty. So it certainly seems that this little area at this end of town is a lot more picturesque and touristy than the bit we were in earlier when we were coming down from the from the bus station and the train station area. You've got all the pretty little bridges, pretty little canal bits, lots of these lovely little French restaurants. There's gift shops over here as well. We need to grab ourselves a magnet. We're, we're magnet people now. We have a magnet from Geneva. We've got one from Bruges. We've got one from Barcelona. We've got one from Amsterdam. We're gonna cover our fridge in magnet memories. But yeah, quite a few gift shops on there. We've, we've got about 90 minutes until our bus back to Geneva. Um, it will probably take Anna about half an hour to get back there. So I think we've probably got about an hour of just mooching around this little area, which seems like a plan to me. There's so many places offering ice cream and crepes and other delicious things like that. I can't eat another bite, but oh, I'm tempted. They have got some Swiss army knives here, even though we are over the border in France now. I won't film them either because Anna tells me YouTube don't like it. And also, of course, they did throw me out of their shop the other day for filming, so. <laughs> Not giving them any promotion. This Swiss army knife idea will never take off. I've stopped it. Right, we're looking for magnets. Do you remember stuff like that? What's it yeah, you find the most terrible gifts. Have they got a Dave? They've got all no, sorts of different dogs. Got, like, we couldn't have got it home anyway. No, our suitcases and things are completely rammed. There's no way we're gonna fit anything in that we buy, but. Uh, we can probably squeeze a magnet in somewhere, somehow. That shop was bonkers. I didn't really feel comfortable filming in there because there was a, an angry looking French lady looking at me the whole time. But in addition to the knives, they also sold catapults, like arrow gun firing things. They had cigars. <laughs> it was, it was a, it was a shop. I mean, they've got skulls in the window. There are literally skulls in the window, but we did get key rings. Did get stung for the usual. Uh, magnet, not key rings, magnets. We did get magnets and um, did get stung for the usual. Magnet is nine euros fifty, have to do a minimum spend of ten to be able to use card. Obviously, I've got no euros with me. We've been in a country that doesn't use euros all weekend, so had to buy a second magnet to get over the limit, which she only charged me two euros for. It was really weird. The original, it was originally nine fifty. I added a second one, she charged me eleven fifty. So I don't understand which end of that I was getting conned, but I feel like I was somewhere. Tourist tax. Uh, we're just exploring now. We've got about, like I say, an hour or so. Anna is uh, broken. So we are kind of heading back towards the station, but going the scenic route because we don't just want to sit there in the rain when we get there either. <laughs> yeah, Anna is loving the fact that you, for some reason you've not been getting roaming in Switzerland, but she's come over to the border into France and your roaming has kicked in, so you can actually watch TikTok here. <laughs> yeah, as we cross the border, Anna's, uh, Anna's 5G came back on, so she was able to, she's, just, she's got all of her internet in on the bus on the way here. Oh my word. What have we got here? Look at this. Whatever that says. Yeah, that, I mean, it's basically brittle, isn't it? Mm. Nougatine. Oh, it looks amazing, but my, <laughs> my filling will absolutely come out. Look at those behind as well. Oh, we need to get away from this place. I don't think it's open. Because I will destroy my teeth. Very difficult. We've picked the worst time to come to places like this because of my gallstones. Look at the size of that macaron in there. <laughs> you may imagine if it was. Oh, that all looks so good. We have definitely stumbled in to a very pretty part of this city on the way back to the train station. I mean, these, uh, these cobbled streets are not ideal for Anna and her walking stick, but it's like something out of a, a Disney film down here. This wouldn't look out of place in Disneyland. 
which I know some people won't see that as the compliment I see it as. But it looks awesome. I've been led to believe Easter eggs weren't a thing outside of the UK, so either they're really appealing to us, or I've been lied to. More pretty stuff down there. Where was this whole area this morning? I think. Made of <laughs> they are made of brittle. Mm -hmm. That's I'm amazing. Do you reckon they're solid? <laughs> That'd be mad. Yeah, I think this morning everything was just closed, whereas now, because it's the afternoon and everything is open, we're having our eyes being caught by everything. This is looking like more of a more of a typical high street kind of area than the little touristy old town area we were just in which suggests we're probably getting a little bit closer to the good old station but hopefully we'll have an inside seat that we can sit at oh more canal now i'm not looking for them i'm spotting them everywhere i do kind of get it now the whole venice thing so this is the shop you come to if you want to buy chickens or I mean all the other chickens or the big furry blankets that we saw in Geneva the other day if you want to see the big furry blankets in action watch the Geneva video that will be linked below well we've made it back to the train station which is right next to the bus station I did get my hopes up for a second when I looked up there and saw Geneva 315 it's three o'clock at the moment our bus is at 10 past four but that's actually an arrival from Geneva the next train there's a bird in here. The next train to Geneva. Anna's trying to trip me up with her walking stick. The next train to Geneva doesn't leave until quarter to four, so there's no point in getting a train. We might as well get the bus. Although there is one that leaves for Chamonix in a moment. Should we go to Chamonix? I've I've got Mont Blanc. I'm going to have a look outside, see what's what. Can't wait in here for an hour. It'd break me. Well, Anna is nicely settled down in there. I think I'm going to go and grab a coffee. We've got about half an hour until our burst. In fact, there's a Flix bus that's just arriving in there now. That might even be ours. I think we're on one. It's just literally shuttling back and forth between here and Geneva. It's only 50 minutes back, but I think that's a pretty good spot to wrap this video up. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you want to see more of these random little European city visit videos, let me know down in the comments where you'd like to see me go. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn your notifications on. Our travels are not over yet. We should still have one more Geneva video. And then very soon, we've got Turin. We've got Tenerife. There's other stuff as well. There's lots coming. Hopefully see you back here for those. But for now, thanks for watching. Toodle pip. Bye bye.